I practice with it. Really? It's my artifact. Your artifact? Have you shown them your artifact? They don't need to see it. I don't think anybody needs to see it, yet everybody it's knows about it. It's never been used. Really? By yes, who? really. Mm -hmm. We'll see, mister. Um, also, could you please bring the last fiber, the carbon fiber card case and one regular metal case? And also, um, what was the other thing? Sorry. And also, um, some just some spare backpacks, regular backpacks that they can use. Sure. Do we? Do, do you have any in storage? Uh, let me check. If you don't, I suggest you go into fucking town and buy some. Or satchels like McKay has. Oh, McKay. You're too good for this world that has Freddy in it. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we do, but I'll go buy some. Good. Um, or right. You... So carbon fiber case, regular case, take down those, bring up bracelets. That's it. And bracelets and tarot cards. Yes. Do either of you need anything else before he goes down? Are you ever going to do anything with those fucking laser guns? I look at the pair of them. Do you know how much dust is on those? Unfortunately, no one knows how to use them. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. He takes the stuff and he goes, Oh, one other thing. going downstairs. Wait. Wait. Look at me moving. Hold on. I look, I'm creeping toward the door. I need to, can I please exchange some gothic gold for some currency here? How many coins do you wish to give me? 20. I will get you at least five. Katar, please. Give me a bargain roll as Katar begins haggling with you. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> All four guards nod. Right, he gets him up to 15. Five. Wow, up to 15? Oh yeah, well, Katar was fucking with him. Bad life. So, right, Katar takes all that. You get 15. Each of you guys gets a bracelet. Uh, Freddie, are, do you have permissions to enable them for yeah. the thing? Yeah. This will, in addition to being able to in game talk to other people who are in game, please don't call people who aren't in game. It's been done to Freddie a few times because people suck. Um, <laughs> but uh, it'll also give you access to the in game boards on the forums. All posts and shit are in character. So, um, yeah. but also if you have a lot of time, as I suspect both of you might, uh, and you want to read up and find out what in the fuck is going on, you are free to peruse whatever you want, or you can ignore the whole thing. It's whatever you feel like. Um, many people do both. So, um, yeah. And also with who, mm, are oh. either of you any good at painting? I have a minor skill at it. I wouldn't say I'm good. My artistic skills is shit, so. I would suggest then that you um, push, take the carbon fiber case and um, Mr. Wallace until we can get you a more better crafted one, you take the metal one. Okay. Gator is making his way off. There he goes. He's escaped. He's going down. You can hear him going down the hall. Oh, by the way, love and um, tarot cards. Oh, so. right. Uh, take a card for reminding me of their tarot cards, which he also took with him. But for your notes, Freddy, uh, Jeff picks up uh, the chariot. Well done. And also he picks up the devil. And for Marcus, he picks up judgment. God damn, a lot of big ones coming out. And the nine of cups. Yay! Major, Ar Major Arcana is better, but until, well, maybe Freddie will tell you what all they need to fix before they actually matter. Some funny shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Uh, you guys are left alone. Uh, Freddy's thinking you've got about an hour before you can get through all the traps, booby traps, uh, guard post, check post, and all that shit. And uh, the four guards just sit there and stare at Freddy as though, you know, one of them has a family and he's going to go home and try to seduce or otherwise mess with the guy's wife. Or all their now, wives. They're looking at him in that same way. Or like what, he owes them child support. What kind of... Um... What kind of gear do the, the pair of you want? Uh, essentials. Or you, um, I'm assuming you want backpacks or satchels or something. Yeah, I can do it with a backpack. And um, it really, I'd rather have an auto pistol and an auto rifle. All right, now let me get into that before you get old Trevor happy. Um, yeah, I was going to shoot anybody. <laughs> it shows him shooting things at random. I'm American! I was, I was, uh, <laughs> I need to show you something. Um, go into my backpack and pull out the flashlight. Now, Jeff, while you're going around the backpack, give me a luck roll. <laughs> All right. I don't know why my luck is showing up as 25 when I have it at 60, but... I don't know either. It's funnier well, if you have a lower it. luck, though. Well, change it to 60. Then. Yeah, change it to 60. If it's supposed to be 60, you don't have to keep rolling at a 25. But either way, you'd fail it. You bring it out something. What? Yeah, I said it, it is at 60, but it's showing up 25. I don't know why. Fuck? Uh, Logan does not understand, but Freddie will fix it later because I'll he fix is it awesome. Later with you. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Obviously, my luck sucks anyhow. You pull out what you think to be a flashlight, and then when you take off the cover, it's not a flashlight, Jeff. It's a fucking white dildo that you're holding, and you're looking at Freddie, and the four guards are like, yeah, yeah, it is. His flashlight shake. I mean, uh, he, no, no, not that one. The other one. <laughs> Behold <laughs> his evil. <laughs> the guard's it's not like the guard. Look at the guard and go shush. Otherwise, I'm going to put it up you as I put it away. Give me an intimidation roll as you Ooh. attempt to intimidate his guards into submission. <laughs> Oh. Of course One of them not. bends over and slaps his ass at you. Like, yeah, he's still got his pants <laughs> on, but they're obviously not taking you seriously. Mm. All right, I'll get out the other flashlight. All right, this one looks more normal. It looks like a, one of those high-powered LED flashlights. Mm -hmm. All right, now try and turn it on. Okay. You love these little tests that Freddy figures out for you and stuff like, can you turn on a flashlight? Um, and let me find out real quick if you can. I've got to check it every time because things keep changing, which irritates people. Ooh, take it under. Okay, roll a willpower times five roll. Or just mash the willpower times five button. It's got a little times five button. It does the math for yep. you because mm -hmm. fuck math. It doesn't turn on. He has given you a broken flashlight. You see now the depths of his depravity. So, in certain zones, I mentioned this earlier, but didn't go into details. Each zone has its own set of rules as to what works and what doesn't. In this zone, anything post 1860s one of the guards leaps up to try to get Freddy there to restrain him. He's like, he was going for something. I saw it. No, he wasn't. He's like, fuck down. It requires you to exert your will in order to make it work. Now, I'm assuming you weren't successful and didn't just press the one button on the flashlight. <laughs> That's low. <laughs> He's got one button. <laughs> you look at him. I've dealt with a lot of people. <laughs> Well, I have a skill in electronics, so I have a pretty good idea how a flashlight works. Good. Would you like to try again just to see that I'm not fucking with you? Sure. I'll try again. Mash the same button as you did just a moment ago. It turns on perfectly fine. Now, in this zone, as I said, post-1860s tech requires you to do that every time you want something to work it'll work for about 10 minutes or so 
provided you A, concentrate on it, B, keep contact with it, like hold on to it, or just have some bit of you connected to it. And anything prior, eight, prior to the 1860s, or 1860s and back, works without issue, tech-wise. Okay? Now, the last thing you need to know, very important, if any of the locals, i.e. non-Australians, see you using, see you using tech like this, they will, their eyes will begin to kind of flutter, and a few minutes afterwards, agents will show up and try to kill you, because you are considered an anomaly. Tech like this shouldn't exist in this time period, and they are essentially kind of like an antivirus program. They come and eliminate what is not meant to be there. Oh, so they're Daleks. I got it. Okay. Uh, more like agents from the Matrix. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you use this, try not to be seen doing it. Right. Uh, also, I know this is going to sound weird, but magic is real. In certain areas, it's easier to cast than in others. In this specific area, it's quite difficult to use. But at least it won't, in this specific area, draw agents. So you can still do it. But it is considered, <clears throat> in this area, again, to be elvish magic, which is bad. They don't like elves. At that yeah. point, an elf walks in. Hi, I heard you were in town, Freddy. Empathy rolls on the elf guy who just wandered in. All of us? Yep. All right. Sure, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> you see the note I sent you, Freddy? That's why I said sure. Okay. Wow, good empathy rolls from you guys. You two believe that, uh, and Freddie can also make his empathy if you want. Yeah, Freddie okay. Freddy knows the deal. You two are thinking that this guy is making a concerted effort to be nicer to Freddie. He looks like a full-out Lord of the Rings type elf. He totally does not fit in here. You don't know what the deal is with this dude. Uh, he's dressed up in like uh, the... Uh, I'm a bat, like uh, the back east guys in the cowboy days, you know, nice uh, pinstripe suit and stuff like that. Uh, he's not armed, but uh, he's got like a big, he has a bigger Australian flag on his breast than Freddy's guards do have kind of smaller ones on theirs. And he's got one on his back too, for some reason. Oh, hello, Ellen. I was just telling them about elves and magic in this area. Elves are fucking hated here. Holy yeah. crap, are they hated. Yeah. I mean, despite our schools and, you know, don't hate the elves or make gun belts out of their skin stuff that we've been spreading for the last couple of years. Have we and, finally met somebody that Freddy hasn't pissed off? Oh, no. No, Freddy's made an effort to uh, reform, and I, says the elf guy identified as Owen, appreciate his... Uh, what the fuck happened to your hand? He I says, had an accident. Do you need another hook? No, it won't go back eventually. Doesn't the other one? Yeah, I'll have to cut it off. Do you need a bone saw? Uh, if you don't mind, please. He looks at one of the guys and he goes, go bring me the Freddy bag. Yes, sir. <clears throat> he hurries off. Thank you. Yeah. I've got a care package for you, buddy. I look at him like, what's <laughs> They bring okay. in like a doctor's bag. It's got bandages and uh, uh, stuff to use to tourniquet some with and uh, two different bone saws. And he goes, uh, who's helping Freddy? He holds up. Well, I don't need to do it now, but. Not now. Of course not now. Not now. Who's helping Freddy? Which one are you? Him? Okay. He gives you the bag and he goes, 
and then he winks at you so Freddie can't see it. He just fucking winked at you. And you're not sure what's up, but he goes, right, if you need anything, uh, have you already met Katar? Yeah. Yes. Where is he? Uh, don't know. He went somewhere. Oh. He went that away. <laughs> He looks at Freddy super suspiciously, like I know I'm, I know you're fucking with me. I know you know something, but I'm not going to say it. That kind of look. And he goes, well, anyway, if you need anything, ask Katar. He's here to help you guys out. I'm usually busy running the the uh, uh, day to day operations of the embassy. That's my job. In case you're wondering who I am, I am Joshua McKay's son. If you see another uh, elf girl running around here that's my sister um we're his kids uh if you have any questions uh you know well you got freddy for a teacher and he just rubs the back of his head and he kind of like hey look it's better than the woman with no name oh well yeah yeah you're you're, you're much better than the woman with no name yeah you're fine <laughs> Uh, if you see her, keep an eye out because uh, she likes skinning knives a lot, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and lots of other stuff as well. Dad has told me stories about that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, always check the basement after she leaves, otherwise it can get a bit whiffy down there. Gotta go! <laughs> he leaves. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. The guards relax when he's gone. It's pretty obvious to you guys that he seems to have some local power thing here. Well, he just so, said he runs the embassy, so, yeah. Yeah, it, it, they also seem to respect him, though. It's it, it, He seems to be the good boss rather than the, you know, <laughs> kill people who disobey type boss. Now, there is, okay, besides the... Uh, backpacks and all that. The guards get um, ready to jump Freddy. And the guns. Which I'm not entirely sure I'm going to get you, but... Uh, I can take them away from me. What else do you like, Do you want? Because now's the time to get everything you need so that you're ready for the future. Uh, the future? Do you have Yeah, you have that. Oh, okay. Well, you will as soon as he gets back. He hasn't come back yet. It takes him a fucking hour. I thought you came back with the bracelets and everything. Oh, good point. Yeah, you've got all your shit then. And yeah. Katar comes back in, sits down, and goes. He ignores Freddy and goes back to paperwork. Yeah, is there anything else all your people would like? Um, well, since we, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing and where I'm going to be going. Is there anything you suggest? Uh, flashlights. Um, a melee weapon, which you seem to have already. Maybe something a little bit less conspicuous. Actually, I don't have a melee weapon that disappeared. Oh, right, right. that disappeared. Right, well, in that case, a melee weapon. Mm -hmm. um, can either of you use bows? No, no bows. But okay. a katana would be nice. Okay, Tar goes. He just slowly looks at Freddy like. And he just makes that weird noise. And what's worse is his head seems that it might be hollow, so it echoes around in there as he does that to Freddy. <laughs> okay, besides the sword, anything else? Um. So a backpack, a flashlight, a sword. Um, um, you're probably gonna need. Oh, Freddy says Gator. Yes, Gator. Have you fixed Clems yet? No, but we are getting closer to figuring it out. What do we pay you for, Freddy? You pay me. <laughs> That's right, Freddy. With goodwill and not killing you and storing your shit. Oh, that is a good point. That's right, Freddy. <laughs> he took some more but He's using a quill and ink and does not look happy to be doing so. How is he writing? He has a really big fucking quill pen. <laughs> a Lego quill pen. Yeah. Okay. Ahem. 
All right, so pistol for you and you. I'm gonna try and See, that. he's already forgotten about fixing clubs. He tells uh, uh, Mr. I Wallace. haven't forgotten. I just. He Calm turns down. and he 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 looks he looks at Brill and goes, he's not gonna fix it. He continues <laughs> doing his forms. <sighs> He's just going to sigh and say, I, there's nothing I can do. Dip, dip. Painting supplies, please. What? Painting supplies. Those are easy to pick. All, all the, all the adventuring doors like the paint. Yes. Perhaps a toolbox with, um, some repair equipment, especially for electronics. Hmm. If he likes Those electronics, are... he should go to Gertie. Oh. No. Actual first aid kit would be great. Gurry has good oh, first aid That's a good kits. idea. We should probably get two of those, packs. one for each of us. Mm. Yeah, get some slap packs from Gurry, says Gaytar, <laughs> filling out and stuff. All right. Um, what? It sounds to so me like we need to go packs. to... I like those nano <clears throat> Mutters Sounds Gaytar. to me like we need to go to... <laughs> Freddy talks over him. Shermer, <laughs> which is the... Zone equivalent of 2000, the year 2000. So we can go there, we can buy you all the stuff you need. Yeah, because fuck nano packs. Yeah, no good nanites running around your blood <sighs> fixing things. <laughs> Says Gator muttering. And then, before we leave, he definitely I need won't to fix the barber you... shop. That's not even on fucking list, says Katar muttering passively aggressively over there. I would like to show you one of the larger overarching things that's happening. Yeah, because in the our... barber shop is a fucking minor thing. It's not like them, all these non adventuring doors need it in order to move supplies around or make money or anything. I no. told you I'm working on it. Oh, yeah, I see how hard you're working on it. Eh? I have to take care of the new people. Oh, look at the new people, he says. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come with me and we will get you your stuff. <laughs> All right, Logan, I want to go to the bank first. No problem. The, the four guards? Follow Freddy all the way to the gates where he gets grabbed by the rhino headed guys who tell him he's not Joshua McKay. They do the same thing. Oh, that's a good question for Freddy there. Uh, use whichever one you want. They're just different layouts. So, it's up to you. Different people use different things. So, whichever okay. one you want, Marcus. The guards then grab each of you and make sure you're not Joshua McKay. They tell you then that you're not Joshua McKay. They seem pleased to be able to tell you you're not Joshua McKay. Then... Uh, I need a sign that says not Joshua McKay. When you guys go out of the gates... By the way, the embassy grounds are really big. And it's up against some bigger fortress... That looks like it's been rebuilt a couple of times and shit. And the embassy grounds are huge. They have lots of different buildings on them. And one of the weirder things that you see in one of the buildings is it looks like they're, they're uh, tearing down a building. And you thought you saw a flying saucer in there. And they, they're working on tearing down the building without moving or touching it. But it looks like the flying saucer has been kind of cut in half by something. Metal termites, maybe? I don't know. And, um, yeah. But anyway, when, when, when you guys leave the embassy grounds, then the guards turn and go back to wherever they came from. But I want to go to the bank. No problem. You guys notice that as you're going through, uh, to you two, the very all, out, out of the embassy, it's almost all animal headed people, all different kinds of animal heads. And the weird thing is, like, you can have a dog mother, a camel father, and the kid is like got a hyena head or lion head or whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't make any fucking logical sense. And to you guys, the people seem very nice. But to Freddy, they're kind of like, eh. They're not overly hostile, but they're kind of like, eh. And you don't know what he did that pissed off 
an entire town. But to you guys, they're just as sweet as can be. <laughs> so, you guys head on in, and uh, he uh, takes the, he's using gold coins, and each one seems to be worth $20. And he's buying various shit. You get a couple paint kits. Uh, what are where are you buying, Freddy? Uh, well, first of all, I want to just get them the paint kits because that's easy enough. And the do they have backpacks and satchels? Yeah, yeah. They they all. If you'd rather have a satchel like uh, on the Kung Fu TV series, you know, or something like that, mm -hmm. they have those as well. Okay, and um, some cold weather clothing uh, that's pretty fucking bulky but yeah you you oh i see yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he gets you a like pretty it's weird because you seem to be in really warm climate he's buying these big fucking bulky furs and shit like that and leathers and stuff yeah um anything else you wanted to get him call that the pistols from here so is there anything else you want from this time zone I can get you. I can get you a sword. Would you like a sword? Yeah, that would be good. I'll get them a sword each. The um, weird pocket waist, uh, waist pocket uh, watches with the chain. Okay, yeah, they oh, definitely yeah. have those here. Yeah. The weird thing about the uh, uh, sword sell or the guy who uh, sells the swords is primary thing is knives, but he has a large number of kukris at his shop for some <laughs> fucking reason. Like, okay. and you, you're trying to figure out why does this old West fucking dude have cookeries? Uh, push, you want a sword or no? Couldn't hurt to pick up some skill in it. Um, yeah, yeah sure. All right, sword for both of them, please. He offers you a couple very standard looking broadswords. Sure, that'll do. He says, I specialize in cookeries now because of the custom orders. Yes. I'm going to do it now until I can get a, until I can find a katana. So. You got you got anything lighter? Yes, that is. Mm, he offers you a kukri. I don't I don't know what a kukri looks like. It's one of those bent knives. It's like a boomerang with a handle. There you go. Good description. Oh yeah 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 the, the uh... yeah. Uh, that's a that's an assassin thing, isn't it? Yeah, Gurkha. I wouldn't call the Gurkha assassins. It really pissed them off. They'd probably kill you. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, he says that's an Australian weapon I've learned to make. Very interesting. No, um, maybe something like a, a rapier or a short sword. I don't know what a rapier is, and I don't have any short swords. Nobody's ever asked for those. Well, let's we'll start with what other swords do you have other than the broadsword? Uh, I've got a different broadsword. I don't get a lot of call for swords here. Tell you what, just don't worry. We'll get you a different sword. I've got knives. We have a supply of swords. I just wanted to get you something to get you started with. We have other ones. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah. This yeah. will work until I get until I find a katana. Yeah. Okay. So you pick up a couple of broadswords. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything All else? Right. Um, backpack, clothing, painting, swords. Do you want leather armor? It'll be a bit difficult to carry around all the time, but. I feel uh, like I'm pretty well bulked up already. No. Okay. I was gonna that, say I, I was just thinking about maybe getting a leather overcoat or something instead. Duster. Yeah, duster. Yeah, they definitely mm -hmm. have those here. You notice that their horses and their food animals all seem to be like lizard derivatives, mm -hmm. which is okay. weird. They have pair of dusters. Okay. And how much is all that? Six gold. Cool. Done. Things are amazingly fucking cheap here, you're thinking. In dollars, that's like $120 for all that shit. You guys get divided up. Uh, right now, you're carrying the warm weather clothing in your backpacks, which pretty much fills the fucking backpack. It's bulky as fuck, uh, cold weather clothing. All right, now, I want to show you... Let's go back to the bomb shelter, and I'll explain to you... 
oh. the way I'm going to take you. Did you buy cold wear clothing for yourself, Freddie, or do you have something yeah, on your sleeve? Okay. Yeah, for myself. Great. Uh, I'd like something that maybe fits in a little better than my double breasted with the fedora. Ah, clothes. What? I'd buy some clothes for them. For uh, another gold era. piece. They're now dre dressed up like your choices are either farmer, gunfighter, merchant. Or there's a large range of female clothing as well. The, mm -hmm. the beast-headed people don't seem to know if you're male or female. They don't have any concept of what which you are. I'm definitely going to need a boa. A boa? It's the feathery thing that um, showgirls have. Oh. You know, they give you a boa. No, I, I'm joking about that. Oh. Uh, I would like a, a, a wide brim hat, like uh, I assume other people have here. Yeah. Do you and, want to dress as a farmer then? Uh, no. Uh, gun, gunslinger. Gunslinger with a wide brim hat. Got it. Uh, by the way, most of the more gunslinger types seem to be wearing bowler hats. Bowler hats seem to be the fashionable thing. But wide brim is more useful. What, what fashion are you going for, Jeff? Um, I'm thinking more of the... You know, like the banker, the three-piece suit type. With Got the, it. Okay. Complete with a pocket watch. Yep, yep. On a chain, yep. No problem. Uh, another gold piece for... Uh... And some kind of hat. Let's see, you know, I don't know if a bowler would look good with that. Bowler, pork pie. Um, flat bowler. top. <laughs> hmm? Bowler would look great with that. And get one of those little bands that goes around your sleeve. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, and there gold piece for uh, fancy clothing and stuff. All right. Uh, cool. Let's take, I'll take them back to the bomb shelter. The pocket watches are nothing special, the ones he got you. They, they tell time. That's pretty much as cool as they are, hopefully. <laughs> they only lose a couple minutes a day type thing. They're great. And well, I guess why you got to wind them, yeah. Yeah, you just sit around nervously winding it all the time until you hear a little snap, and that means it's time to buy a new one. Anyway, <laughs> takes you back he goes in you guys going through the gate you get grabbed by the guards who assure you you're not joshua mckay then they sound a trumpet then eventually the four guys show up and then you're allowed to proceed into the gate and they go over to the bomb shelter the four guards do not go into the bomb shelter with you they station themselves around it watching make sure that there's no escape okay so freddie <sighs> seems to have a lot of baggage you're thinking everybody's super yeah. nice to you guys but freddie's got baggage Samsonite gorilla. Baggage. I'm gonna take you to a world of cold environment. So you're gonna need to put on those clothes. Um it is essentially a barrier between our universe and everything else. It looks like a a wall made out of skulls that a an individual known as Janice erected to quote unquote keep us safe from the outside sources. And that may or may not, well, who am I here? It has bad repercussions. But I want to show you this so you have an idea of just how much crazy shit is going on. And maybe with a new pair of eyes, you can tell us something that we missed about it. You're trying to drive us insane, aren't you? No, why would I do that? It's not that scary, trust me. Besides, you have guns now, right? And we met an elf, too. Yeah. He looked like he was straight out Lord of the Rings casting. Mm -hmm. Not the so. fat... Oh, and we let, met a Lego man. Yeah, he's not trying to screw us with our heads any. No. No. So, um, let's get dressed and I'll take you to the skull. All okay. right. Um, I'd like to, uh, does my tarot deck have the same kind of trumps that his does? You don't even have a tarot deck. You have an empty case that hopes to have a tarot deck in it someday. Mm -hmm. I asked you about this earlier, and you said that uh, uh, the Lego man was going to bring. No, yeah, but Kate. 
your case. Yep. Need it. Now, tarot cards. Oh, there are no tarot cards in there. Just a case. Yeah. You have an empty case. You hope to fill it with cards someday. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to have some blank cards. That, that, that's part of the paint. Yeah, in the painting kit are many, many wonderful blanks that may, if they're very lucky and good, become tarot cards. Yeah. Maybe. So eventually. I will teach you. In fact, would you like me to teach you now? That's probably a leave. good idea, yeah. Before we leave. Because I'm, I'm thinking the great fog wall is a good ending scene. Also. Yeah, yeah. All right. So get out your paint kit. I need to be at 1 o'clock or, you know. We're coming to the end now. Yeah, we're coming to the end now. So I want to try and teach them how to make chumps. Okay. Well, um, yes. for Freddie, Fre just Freddie, you guys pretty much right. it's just whether he makes it or not. You guys are completely passive on this. So Freddie, give me a paint roll. Okay. Freddie, um, oh, what are you wanting to pay for subject first, please? Uh, one of each of them. Mm, sure, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay, so first, give me a paint roll. Oh, just one chump? Okay, well, whatever. That's normal, yeah. yeah. Okay, sure, then one of, um, push. All right. He draws, he's really, he draws an, or he paints an expert level. And he does a really do fucking it. good job. Uh, I do it with my mouth, actually. Yeah, nice. Yeah. He's apparently trained himself up for it. Yeah, even at yeah. even at the negatives I'd normally assign him for not using his hand. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's better than the gorilla paintings, even. And Trump. No, I made the Trump. Okay. And then the teacher will. This is the important role. Now, wait, before you roll, first yeah. declare who, and then uh, roll for that person, and then declare, and then the air person. All right, I'll do one may learn, first. the air may not. Who's first? Fish. Fish? Mark. Okay. Mark. If Logan continues slaughtering his name. Fish, fish, uh, I don't know his name. Uh, fish is a good man. He's at home in all the docks. There we go. Okay, Fish picks up a new skill, and how about one for, uh, I'm going to call the, it the same thing as well, or just teach it? Just teach it. No. You suck. You want to spend hero points? No. I'll teach you four. one. <laughs> Not you, him. Um. He parts with his hero points really rarely. Uh, now, if anybody has a reroll card or anything like that, now is a good time to get it to him. I will teach you. Let me check. I do not have a reroll card. No. It's okay. I'll teach you again eventually. Not everyone gets it on their first try. Mm. But, um, I do explain to them how to use the trumps once they have one. So mm. all you have to do is just get the card, concentrate on it for about two minutes. And then it will open up the location of the of what's on the card, and then you can just step through. Now you notice when he used it, he only concentrated for about thirty seconds. So now, yeah, I'm quite good at it, but yeah. Marcus, you remember how you got uh, something ready for that big copy paste before when you did the pattern? Yeah, I remember copy and paste. Yeah. You're going to want to get another thing ready because Create Basic Trump is also a big fucking wall of text and it's a different skill type thing. So you set it up in the same way, but under uh, Trump. Yeah. Instead of patent, put it in Trump. Um, yeah, so, that's not good. There it is. so I'm, I'm going to click on a black bar and, yeah. and, and type Trump. And then click add or click the box and then click add. And then Logan will give you everything. Here's the huge fucking wall of text. It keeps going up. Good. Damn it. Holy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, these are super fucking powerful, and so there's a lot. You gotta remember, we've been using these for over a year now, so uh, there's been a lot of uh, 
uh, yeah. uh, stuff. <clears throat> so copy paste that all in. Now also with all of your um, uh, special Amberite abilities and stuff like that, before you use it in game, you are expected to know exactly how it works. This also goes for spells. So like, let's say Jeff becomes a spell caster and shit, and he wants to cast his uh, ice spell on somebody or something. If I go, hey, what's the range on that? He shouldn't go, hold on, let me look it up. He should do, He should know before he casts it. Even if he has to go, I think I might be casting ice. I'm going to look this up while Logan's busy with somebody else's shit, because that, otherwise you hold up everything. So... <laughs> With these, they're a pain in the ass to first learn, but once you get used to it, it becomes second nature. Like, yeah, this only allows you to create them. Mm -hmm. Both of you can use them yeah. if you have one. Using's free yeah. if you got Trump. Right now you have empty cases. Oh, actually, hold on. I have some spare ones on me. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, one sec, one now, sec. And as a side note, uh, you guys have met the guy in the campaign who is the best at the trumps that's freddy's fucking deal yeah i i do a lot of trumps yeah there's another guy um, who's best at pattern stuff and there guy's best at logo stuff so. well, right. uh, i don't know about trump but i'm gonna vote biden myself so there you go all right i'm gonna give each of them a trump of the bomb shelter room and during my skill hauling i'll make another one for myself now for the trumps it's you can't just write down embassy because I'll say where in the embassy because with all the place trumps, if anything about the place changes, it breaks the trump. In order to use any of the trumps that go to the places, uh, you have to make a luck roll to see if that shit has broken. So in Jeff's case, he definitely wants to get his fucking luck fixed before he starts using trumps. Uh, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's the name of the chunk. Yeah. Just copy and paste it. Um, yeah, there you go. And then for trumps on people, uh, until you get the more advanced skill, because right now this is barely being able to make a trump skill. If that person, like for example, if uh, you if uh, you make a trump of Freddy and then Freddy shape shifts or something, then even if he shifts back, trump's broken. So. Yeah. Okay, so where am I putting this uh, bee skin bunker room? Wherever um, you want. In your I, equipment. I'd make a list, like yeah. under your case, your Trump case, I'd make a list of Trump's owned because you're going to start off with like one or two Trumps and then eventually you're going to get more and more and they'll become like, oh, Jesus, I need another case, uh, you know, and all that kind of crap. Or you'll start handing them out to other people and go, yeah, I've got, I've got four of this one. Freddie keeps off and giving me extras, and I don't know what to do. Can't All right, now when it comes to making a Trump, uh, is artist painting involved uh -huh. in that? Yes. Okay. But Freddie will show you how to do, how to build up your skills during skill horn because. Uh, pretty much, unless it's a special situation like what we just did, like teaching somebody new how to make a Trump, all the Trump making goes on during skill warning time. Otherwise, the entire fucking session becomes a painting session. So I said, instead of doing that bullshit, I will give fucking free rolls to literally stop that bullshit. So that's where skill warning came from originally. Hmm. So kind of like oh. original rituals. Oh, uh, Marcus, you also have a Trump of yourself. Yeah, right, that right, right down. Yeah. That that will prove bloody useful. Now, yeah, it's regular. It huh? It will. Oh yeah, okay. freakishly useful if you if you hang on to it. Also, these trumps are super delicate. Stick it in water, it's done. Tear it, it's done. Bend it, it might be done. So that's why they have these fucking super reinforced cases and shit like that. And then the metal ones weren't good enough for them anymore. And they went to a fucking future tech zone and go, I want carbon fiber. And they're like, all right. <laughs> and they fucking made them those. So, yeah. yeah. The PCs right. are pr super protective of their trunks. So after the painting session. After the painting we'll, session. We will get dressed in our cold survival gear. All right. Well, I'll ask one of them to help me with mine. Of course. Obviously. 
Well, unfortunately, then, Mr. Wallace is very kind about this. Thank you very much. And <coughs> I will ask him to pull out a trump with a skull wall, like, not a skull wall, but like an area of snow and some trees and stuff like that, which is near the skull wall. Mm -hmm. And we'll do the whole thing again. With you guys latch on to him like barnacles. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Here goes. Right. Yep. Look, well, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's good enough. I was going to say, you guys go through and that cold fucking just beats you like mercilessly, like a mugger with a frozen pipe. It is breathtakingly cold here. And you're. it looks like some sort of Arctic place with the trees, deep snow, you're up to your knees in snow, and there's like, over there, there's a burned out building. It looks like it used to be some sort of really inhospitable land bar. Why, why would they have la a bar out here? But, um, so that's over there. That isn't what catches your attention. Pretty much uh, a ways away from you, and as far as you can see in either direction, there's a wall it looks like it's about 10 meters high it's made of smoke and occasionally coming out from the smoke you can see these weird floating skulls that got kind of, and then go back in and there are lots and lots of is it just makes you feel like oh jesus everybody give me empathy rolls or not empathy sorry essence rolls uh, for this mash the times five button lower is better including right Freddie gets some special uh, knowledge off of this. You said essence times five? Yeah, yeah, mash the times five button like Eddie did, or Freddie did there. And it doesn't really uh, have much of an impact on Mr. Wallace, but uh, on Puel, you're thinking, holy shit, that thing is just, that's bad news. You could just feel the power rippling off of that thing and uh, you are thinking that it has become like a living being. And I'm going to message Freddie something that he has picked up because he has a lot of experience with this sort of thing. And uh, it may mean something to him. Oh, joy. There you go. And Frey looks at it and says, What the fuck? <laughs> if you can figure out a way to tell them that in game you have fun with it. Um, well, apparently the wall is now heavily favored by fate somehow. Hmm. And it's more dangerous than you yeah. saw last time. Oh, wonderful. That's just what we needed. <laughs> And um, what does favored by fate mean? Uh, you know how you wrote the pattern and you had a really tough time, but you somehow managed to pull through it because fate was on your side. Well, the wall kind of has the same thing. Okay. I'm not going to be walking on it though, right? I wouldn't advise it. No. But if you try to destroy it, It'll probably resist a lot better than it would normally. So what you're telling me is when the Norns died, its skulls got put into the wall. Oh, Ooh. no. Um, remember the woman with no name that I mentioned? Uh -huh. <laughs> Her daughter is in the wall, and she's powering it. And she likes skulls okay. a lot. Uh, I gathered that. By the way, uh, Twish, I believe you may have met the woman with no name. She was with you recently. That's okay. her daughter. Um, she looked yeah, a bit young for her daughter. Drinks a lot? Yeah. 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 Kind of evil looking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're wondering so, how um, old her daughter could be. She looked barely 18 to you. I have seen weirder already. Well, there is the South, I guess. 
There you go. <laughs> um, but the legal age of consent here apparently as <laughs> low as you go is legal if you can get people to agree to it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's not her real body. She switched bodies with a younger version of herself. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that, yeah. Um, beyond the wall, by the way, if you make it that far, is Amber and Hot Chaos. Fuck those places. Okay. Oh, thus fate being influenced, you push through the wall. Is that? Kind of. Okay. Let's just say it's a lot harder to do it now. But yes, um, if you ever if you ever go to Amber, try not to talk too much. They like information. Don't give them information unless you absolutely need to. I don't know how they work. I hate the place. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, kind of fascist there, isn't it? It's fucking evil. I hate it. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Well, does does Mr. Wallace have any questions about either of those two place names that he just threw out casually? I'm totally confused on everything, so it doesn't really matter. Fair enough. Good. After a certain point, it's just like blase. So somebody switched bodies, you say? Nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't worry, eventually yeah. it'll make sense. And I've been up for 14 straight hours at this point, so I'm getting tired too. Neither of these guys sleep. Okay, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and roll credits there with the cool wall scene as you guys are observing it and feeling the power radiating off of it. Um, so before we end the recording part, who's got ideas for the name of the session? What's a good title for the session? Another hand lost. <laughs> All hands on deck. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you. <laughs> Everybody grab a card. Uh, so right now the four different titles we've got is all hands on deck another hand lost gotta hand it to you or I submitted quest for the crowbar which do you guys like best Uh, I think the most memorable thing here was the hand so if you go another another hand lost because it's shortest or which one do you want I'll let them pick. Hmm. What do you guys uh, think? Hi. Which one was yours? Got to hand it to you. Yeah. Oh, you... Hand. Jeff? That's fine. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Hmm. Got to hand it to you. And right. Uh, before we sign off, Freddie, what have you got to say to the studio audience out there? Yeah. Excellent. Marcus, what have you got for the studio audience? Loving it. This is good fun. And Jeff. I'm so confused. No, I'm having a good time with it. So I actually was able to stay awake, which is something I was actually worried about because I'm on a new medication, which is why my sleep schedule is all wonky. Oh, kept me awake the whole time. So that's good eating. (laughs) 